Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Roy Kennedy. Hey, you know, we're going to start this off on a very positive note. So some of our Kickstarter backers <laughs> whose shout outs will forever be associated with this video. Yeah, get this out of the way now because you don't want anything beyond this. Thank you to William McGinnis Jr. for hating Z. <laughs> Thank you, Thor Soderlund, for hating Z. Yes. Thank you, Mr. M. Dudley. He kind of likes Z. That's a shame. Uh. Thank you to Vincent Grafsman. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grafman. Ah. He even told me how to pronounce it here. Vincent and Mahare, Mariah Grafman. Sorry, I'm really <laughs> messing this up. Z hates you. <laughs> oh, All right. No. Thank you, Ollie. M uh. Matonin from the BAP Gaming Community in Tampa, Finland. Wow, he hates cool. Z. Yeah. All right. I think Finland in general hates Z. I think it's a whole countrywide thing. He's not very well liked in Finland. All right, Z, folks. Z may be wrong, but supporting the Dice Tower is right. Yes. Welcome in, Welcome to the second video in a series that started one year and two months ago. <laughs> uh, it's been a minute. It it's been I remember a minute. exactly when it was because I was taking my daughter to college, mm -hmm. and uh, you all were trouncing on me where Tom is wrong. Yes. Um, before we start into this, where we will trounce on Z for a bit, I mm. want to be really clear in case you don't know who the Dice Tower is. <laughs> we like Z. A lot. He's awesome. Z knows we're doing this video. Yes. He doesn't know what we're going to say, but he knows we're doing this video. Z is going to react video to this video. This is mostly a joke. Yes. I mean, Inchy. if I say Z's opinion about a game is wrong, that's not a joke. It's right. wrong. I mean, as wrong as any opinion can be. Yeah. But everything else we say is a joke, and from now on, everything I just said I don't care about. I will say this, though. In all seriousness, Z has never looked better than he does in that picture right there. <laughs> exactly. That is a fantastic picture of Z. I love the people in the comments were saying it's funny how Chris uh, drew glasses and a beard on someone who already has glasses and a beard. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I don't know actually how this is going to go because I haven't shared anything with these guys. No. So do we want to talk about our methodology, our, our very, very complicated methodology for how we did this, or do we just go into it? Sure. Go ahead, Mike. So what I did was I went through painstakingly with a fine tooth comb, much like you saw in the intro of this video, and I looked at Z's ratings for all of the games. Uh -huh. Thousands of ratings. Yeah. Right? And I really only concentrated on the things at the extreme. So I was looking at things that he rated uh, either a 10 or low into a three or four. The, the the most close to the middle I went was something he rated with a five, and that was my number 10 choice. Mm. So I look for disparities. I did things very similarly, like the games. But for me, it was really hard. I was trying to find more games that he liked that I just hated on. Mm. Overall, Z's a hater, because there was a lot more games that I like that he was like down on that are amazing games. So mm. I think we're going to see a quite, a quite a bit of those on my list. I was able to do the list in my sleep because I've known Z now for 10 years and this was just an obvious thing. Mm. I'll try to keep this as, as non-personal as possible. Uh-oh. Is, is your list all games or is it just like... Oh, we were doing games? Uh-oh, here we go. Now we're doing games. <laughs> let's get started with... I. Let's find out what happens. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. I'm starting this off. So here's the thing. Um, there's a, you know, we don't lean into the seniority too much, I don't think, here at the Dice Tower. But Z is the first full-time employee, right? He was he a is. human stretch goal. Correct. And so that... And technically, when I leave, sometimes I'll say Z's in charge, or Kenny's in charge. But right, right. Z's in charge. Yeah. Right. We don't, we don't get into that too much as far as seniority, but there are certain perks that come with being here for a while. One of those perks is that Z clearly has the best desk space in our studio. That is true. He claimed the best desk <laughs> well, space. Well, I have the best desk space. Well, but you don't count. You're you're the Kahuna. Okay. We're talking about us, you know, here in the in the toiling away in the in the minefields. Um, my goal is by the end of this list to prove definitively that Z is so wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be in his spot at that desk. <laughs> Z's going to be outside. All right? I just want to put that out there. All right? It's a good time of year to be outside. It is. Know. It is. In all seriousness, this was a hard list because I tend to have the most things in common with Z. Mm. But here we go. I'm going to start off calm. My number 10 is a game that Z rates a 5. Okay? That's so sad. It's middle of the road. Well, no. and I'm going to be peppering this list with other reasons Z is wrong. Okay. 
I can't stand Z's rating scale. Because <laughs> for him, six is usually bad. Right. To me, six is okay. Right, yeah. When he rates yeah. something a, a five, that means five he... Five means it's bad. He hates it. It's bad. Right. Okay, anyway. So. I rate it a nine. Why? Wow. Because it is pure fun. My number 10 is Arcadia Quest. What, are you kidding me? This is a five? Wait, you gave this a five? A five! Mm. I didn't catch this one. Yes, this is but outrageous. But it does fit a pattern. This is pure fun. This is, And I, I know he likes exploding dice. He's mentioned it to me. Where did exploding dice come from? Well, maybe not Arcadia Quest, but that's a huge part. It is the first time I think it I've is, seen right? it in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. What, is, what is it you don't like, Z? The fun? The fun. The fun, right? The fun. It, it is just a fun, silly game, so it must be the fun. What about this the game fun. can engender such vitriol and hate that Z has for it to put it at a five? I, for one, won't stand for it, and therefore it's on my list. But it's my it's my my least extreme. This is my number ten, and it's going to get much worse. Mm. But Z rated this a five. I shouldn't even have to say anything else, but I've got nine more <laughs> things to say. That's my number No, 10. I'm sorry, but for the burden of proof, yes. one point is not good enough. Okay, fair and enough. That's where I've we got, got to stand. I've got many yeah. more. Okay. All right. So, uh, for my number 10, Z rates this one a 3, and he's talked about it time and time again that he doesn't like this game. This is a space-themed game, Pulsar 2849. Mm. This is a game that even, even you would think that's a game that I wouldn't be as into, but I really enjoy I really, the, I really the am surprised you dice like drafting mm. and like how you're trying to build up your like engine of dice and spheres to give you points, and you're trying to get technologies. There's a lot of cool, fun things and interesting things going on in this game. I don't think this game deserves a three, you know? I think there's like interesting things you can do, and for some reason he just hates it. Did he play it with you, Tom? Well, yes. That's it's starting mm, to be no. clear now. But. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a point I will be delving into okay, more later. Okay, okay. I will talk about this, this, that point, and this game is not on my list, but this game keys into another aspect of my list later on. Oh. I don't understand why it's a three, though. Like, right. that is really I agree. Low. Three means that it's barely even functional as a game. I didn't have enough time to make a top 100 list, okay? <laughs> I can't fit all this stuff on the list. Anyway, this game's fun. It's a lot of fun to play, and mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy it a lot. So, Pulsar. I'm going to be nice with my number 10. Uh oh Yeah, because... Why would you start? Because we all know that if there's anything Z hates, mm -hmm. it's silly... Dexterity type that's games. That's true. He does oh, not like I, that. I, they are. But he likes this game, and I don't know what it is about it. This is my minor one. Okay. okay. This is my okay. minor point. And this is Minara. And I think you all might like Minara, too. I don't know. I, mean, I haven't played it. Minara's... This is one of those dexterity games where everyone takes it very seriously, and they're like, ooh, mm -hmm. And Z preaches against this all the time. <laughs> we talk about it, I'll be like, I can't believe people like Looping Louie. He's like, oh, yeah. Minara, you're like pulling a stick and balancing. Everyone's like, ooh, it's a cooperative game. Mm. Ooh, 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 who cares? It's not that good. He loves this game. It's in his mm. top 100. That's where wow. I went to mine some of my info, to look yes. at his top 100. Uh -huh. I was only able to make it through half of it before I vomited. <laughs> but... <laughs> Okay, I might be coming on too hard here. <laughs> Gotta start with vomit and turn in pick number ten. Tom. That's uh, a good no, way. So no I was just very up. surprised. This does not. This is one of the many M games I'm confused mm -hmm. about. I didn't. <laughs> the other ones might show up on the list here, but <laughs> Minara though, I don't get it. Again, I'm being very kind here at the beginning. Mm, That's my right. number ten. All right, here we go. All right, so number nine, Tom. This is this is uh, we did not coordinate our list in any way. This is all going to be new to all of us. But you mentioned that he tends to not like silly dexterity games. That's right? what I'm saying. That's correct, and this is going to prove that. If there's speed slapping, basically, if there's any like if there's any joy at the table, any fun, this Grinch of a bearded man. <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> two sizes too small. His heart is, and his uh, yes. So my number nine is a silly dexterity game. Wow. That is pure fun in a box that he rates a four. Wow. Wait, but he gave Minara? I'm confused. Right. So, I, I'll i give it what the title is that you can find it for now. It's Terror in Meeple City. I call it Rampage because wow. that's the version I have. Oh. He gives this a four. Now, to be fair, if he's ranking it based on the name, I would agree with the, him. The name is horrible. Rampage was the great name. But right, exactly. They, they had to get rid of that for, for you know, trademark reasons. Four? This is fun, man. This is just silly fun. I've never, ever been in a session of this game where people weren't laughing. 
Yeah, I think I it's feel like I played this with him and he was laughing, but maybe he was laughing at the negative review he was planning to give I it. I don't understand how you give this a four. <laughs> what now? To be fair, this is not a game I would choose to play right did, now. When okay? did he update? Did, maybe he updated his score after like certain things happened, and he realized I don't think that blowing this has on any, the board. Yeah, I don't think it has as, anything as to do with, with with COVID or anything no, like it's that. It's not a post COVID review. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. it's not a game. It's not a Zeta game. Zeta doesn't change his now. reviews, so. He said he did change some. I think he, he was uh, think worried he about knew. like prepping for this to In happen. In anticipation <laughs> for this <laughs> list. <laughs> Fold you. Right. Cut this part out of the video, Chris. <laughs> anyway, I rate this much higher. I give this an 8. This is pure fun. Mm. This is silliness. I don't see how... What about this game would bring out hate? You're flicking things around. You're dropping, you're dropping monsters on top of buildings. I, I think I know what this is. This is imprecision. That's what it is. He doesn't Z like any kind of imprecision. Z hates anything that's not precise. You have to flick it in, and if you're touching a particular thing, you're in that neighborhood. Z has to make sure he he is such a rules lawyer, right. rules such a rules lawyer, that he can't stand any kind of imprecision at all. It's like, oh, is the disc on the sidewalk, or is it not on the sidewalk? Right. He probably like looked at that and was like, oh, no, not good enough. You I know. struggle to be mean with Mike here, because he really just makes me look like a, a poser. <laughs> <laughs> This is an outrage. Oh boy, we got the pod father in the chat. All right, oh. this is an outrageously wrong choice. Number nine, rampage. I'm going to call it. But if you want to go with Terror and Meeple City, that hey Chris, if you well. go to the YouTube comments rather than the, on eCam, um, you can put someone in timeout for a while. It doesn't actually affect anything. <laughs> I'm just mentioning that, and for, I for would the pod recommend father? that. Okay. All right, go ahead, Roy. Okay, so for my number nine, this is a game that is full of story and crazy choices. This is basically a, a choose-your-own-adventure, and this is Tales of the Arabian Nights. Oh. So Z rates this a three as well. He hates yeah! Tales of the Arabian Nights. And I mean, this is another game that's just literally just fun. You know, it's like, okay, you don't take it too seriously. You go around, you do things, you make a cool adventure as you're playing the game. The choices kind of don't even matter that much. You're just kind of seeing what happens. You're kind of racing to try to get these different, um, two different types of victory points, whether it's story or destiny and then run back to the middle of the board to try to win the game but overall it's really just about hanging out with your friends and reading through the storybook and having fun z always trashes on this game always talks about how terrible it is and so random this and that mm. that's the point it's fun <laughs> it's a story you can play games and have random silly fun with your friends it doesn't have to be so precise every single time does it involve fun yes I, there I guess you go hates it. there's your answer there you go I'm about to watch something enjoyable. Right there. <laughs> Click oh, it. Oh, man. I wish I Click it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right. Uh, Where are we at? Bye, Bonacore. We're at number nine. Okay. So my number nine is a game, but it's not so much a game as it is a thing. Mm -hmm. and, and I bet you especially, Mike, will know what I'm talking about when I talk about this game. I don't think Z doesn't even hate this game, but he's okay. wrong about it. So the game is Nidavellir. <gasps> now, where's the oh. problem with this? You know what the problem is. So this is what happens. We played Nid of Lear. That's right. And we this is very much a Z thing. Z. Wow. This it is a Z thing. Amazing. Because yes. you know what? It's amazing. It is. Yes. Then we played it with Z, and we could tell he was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. He wasn't going to play along. He was not going to play but along. But if Z had been the one to discover it, oh. it would have blown our minds. Yes. This would have been game of, you. game of the year if Z had discovered because it. Because I know correct. Z's tastes. Z doesn't even know he's wrong in this case. Correct. If I could go into his brain and find, I'd be like, he really likes it. A lie mm -hmm. detector test would prove this. It is It is shocking to me that he doesn't like this game. And you're totally right. It's just because you hyped it up, hyped it up, hyped it up. So now I'm like, then, this game is garbage. Also, now I think it's not only that we hyped it up. It's because I know I, I don't want to speak for you. I specifically said, Z, you're going to love this game. Uh, this, is a, this, is a, this is a Z game. Because you know what? It is. This is like... 15 other games that Z loves, except right. better. It's great! By the way, I wore that hat because of Z. Because <laughs> he hates it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and I know, you know how I know he hates it? Because he always tells me it looks good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, anyway, Nid of a Lear. Nice. Or actually, just Z's hatred of hype. This would totally is my be on number my list, but nah. I forgot this one. Yeah. All right, my number eight is an adorable, cooperative, uh, actually it's not cooperative now that I think about it, they turned it into a thing. Mike is wrong! I am wrong already. <laughs> this is an, an adorable 
little small box game from Oink Games that Z rates a four. This may be a victim of that hype thing we were just talking about because it is pretty universally liked. It's it's probably the most popular of the. What's the most popular Oink game out there? Fake artist. Mm, the other one. Insider. <laughs> I should never have done this. It's deep Sea Adventure, clearly. You can you can get this at Target. Wait, he's giving us a four? Yes. Okay, well, first of all, I've never played the game, so I don't know. I agree with Z. I hate this game. No, this is a fun. Z yeah, is yeah. right. No, nah, this is a this is a and, really and fun. Change it up, Z is right. This is a really fun push your luck game that is just You're cute. legally not allowed to say that during this game. You're not really supposed to say that. I, I, I can't say in this game. It's a great little push your luck game. That Z, for some reason, rates a four. I don't know now. Now, if Roy and Z both don't like it, and you like it. I do like it. All right, uh, next time, Mike is are wrong. Are you going to be the deciding factor? No, because I don't, I mean. I'm always the deciding factor is, in my head. That is, that is true. Well, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Liar. It's I'm usually fine. the deciding factor in my head. <laughs> I can see how we rated a four, though. So. Uh, no, there's nothing about, nothing about this that's a four. This is fantastic. Even though I'm getting wrecked in the comments. That's okay. Wow. This is great. It's All a right. great push your luck game. Get us back on track. Deep Sea Adventure. Okay, back on track. Fun. Z, why don't you like fun? What's going on? This is a fast paced, another space game I really enjoy where you're grabbing tiles and building a ship. This is Galaxy Trucker. This is another game where it's like, oh, it's so random, random things happen to you. That happens, but also I think it can be proven that it's not fully random. Go watch our live play. Random happens in life, Z. That's correct. But you need to learn to deal with random events. It's cool to be able to build your <laughs> ship and put everything together, and you can actually get better at this game the more you play. Building relationships, that's what this game stands for. And, and it's cool to see how the game plays out. He doesn't like games where it's like, oh, Watching you do a thing. pass you by. <laughs> I don't even know what's I going like on. I like what's going on over here. I don't know, but I'm 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 putting up with your you collect keys. Confusion happens in life. This is true. You get money, currency, and money you go is the, the word of all goodness. <laughs> Wait, what? Greed is good. It. Anyway, so yeah, my my number eight is Gatsby Trucker. He rates this a three as well. I think it's mm -hmm. a, a fun game and a blast to play, and a game that you can't take too seriously, but it's definitely very enjoyable. Once again, I'll come back to this. Mm. My number eight is a classic. You cannot hate classics. Can't Unless hate they're em. classics I hate, in which case it's okay. It's garbage, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even love this game, okay. but you can't hate it. Okay. You can either like it or not like it. There's a difference. Hate is different. Sure, hate is this different. Is, this was once ranked at number two on Board Game Geek, which, as you all know, I agree with in every way <laughs> for the purposes of this video. Uh -huh. mm. Tigers and Euphrates, or Euphrates and Tigers. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not a big fan of this, probably. Um... You've never played it. No, no, I'm, I'm. You hate it. No, I. I you love it. I, I don't want to say too much, Tom. How about that? You could just say yes or no, Mike, which would be less of a spoiler for later on. <laughs> yes, I think it's a, it's a very good game, Tom. <laughs> All right, Z hates it. I think he ranked it a three. Mike, check your notes. You know. He ranked it a three. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> um, but Tigers Euphrates is considered. This is one of those games, this would be like me saying, Go is terrible. Right. I don't like Go, right. particularly, but it's right. not bad. It's just not my style. Z says Tigers and Freddy's is bad, and when you say Tigers and Freddy's is bad, you're saying Reiner Knizia is bad. And if you say Reiner Knizia is bad, you've just went against all of gaming. That is correct. This is considered a modern classic. I do for realize a, a lot of my statements can be taken out of context <laughs> later on to use against me, but this is Z's wrong video. It's mm. in the shell. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm with you, and I'll have more to say about this later on. I haven't played it. I also don't think this is an amazing game. I think it's fine. I love it sometimes, and sometimes I'm like, meh. But hating it is wrong. A three is wrong. Mm. All right, so look, my first three, I was coming in really slow. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to ramp it up, right? That's I'm, what I'm, I'm telling just you. Easing, I'm easing everybody into this. Just re, just relax, everybody. All right. My number seven is by the very same designer that you were just talking oh, about. Oh, wow. The genius. The true and living doctor, <gasps> Reiner Knizia. Usually. <laughs> sure. But if there's one thing that Reiner Sometimes, Can, actually. If there's one thing that Reiner Knizia is known for, mm -hmm. it's auction games. Well, he's known for a lot right. of things, but he is definitely known for auction games. Mm -hmm. And... Probably one of the most pure auction games he's done is Modern Art. It's yeah. nothing but all of the different kinds of auctions. He rates this a four. Hmm. Um, a four. 
Tom, you got to go with me in this video. I, I you got to go with me my, on this video. Like it's kind of right. There is no way that this is a four. Uh, modern art bad. is if you. What do you rate it? I give it an eight. You're wrong. No, no, this is fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. This is fantastic. I'm not talking about modern art, the card game. I'm talking about modern I art. I know, well, you're not talking about modern art, the, 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 the game. The auction classic. The auction classic from Reiner Knizia. The only auction game I like better than this is Raw, and it's by the same wait, wait, designer. Wait, wait, wait. The only auction game you like better than this is Raw? Yeah. I'd give it a six. It's I'm eight. making notes it's for fine. a future video. This is fantastic. A four. Come on. There's no way this is a four. All right, look. Here we go. I agree I'll start with you. The bidding. I'll start the bidding at five. What is this? Six. I don't know. I give it. I give it a six. It's an eight. I win. Uh, you can have it, but yeah, you know, I'll take it. I don't want this. You just lost. Of bad you just lost. Getting. Z, get that desk out of the way. I don't think you understand how I've auctions work. I've got a desk work. coming on the way. I don't think you understand how auctions work. You bought I feel, a whole desk. I feel, I feel, I feel Come on, Roy, get us back on track. This is right, twice cool. now. Right, Mike has ruined stuff. So this is another game that Z rates a three. This is my favorite mm. genre of board games overall. And I, I was actually Attacky kind of surprised. Games. I was actually kind of surprised that he had this even on his list of games that were rated. Mm -hmm. but this is Eclipse. I love Eclipse. Like Eclipse is an awesome game, and he rates it a three. And I'm guessing that's maybe because like. I, I don't think it's it's not it's a complex game, but it's not that crazy. It's a long time length to play. But that's another thing is I'll throw this in with Twilight Imperium as well. He's never played that, I know, but he's not into that big long style of game. And I feel like these games are worth the time investment. They're a lot of fun to play, and I really enjoy Eclipse, and I think it's awesome. I also don't think Eclipse is that long for this type of game, okay. honestly. It, it's longish. It is I, long. I thought about putting this on my list, and I did it because I think he may not like this because he played it with me and Sam. Ah. So you're ruining... Ah. We'll have to bring that up a little bit later, but Tom <laughs> ruins Z's opinions of games. No! Not that time. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm more trying to blame Sam. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, right, yeah. I threw myself ruined in there for to make Z, Ruin for Z, ruin for Z, ruin for Z. I see how it is. Wait, what other ones have I ruined for Tom Z? Tom is wrong. I mean, Z is wrong. I Eclipse is awesome. I don't know who's wrong anymore. All know. right. I'm just throwing shit well, at every other so person. So on this table. subject, then, mm -hmm. you guys are not going to agree with me on this oh, one. Okay. You All might right. a little, because I might be the only person who champions a game. Hmm. But listen, this was on the Tom is wrong list. I know it was. <laughs> I know uh -oh. it was. Mm -hmm. Okay? But listen, sometimes... Liking a game when it came out and enjoying it then and then realizing in 2021 that it's not as great but still having some pleasant nostalgia for it is okay. Get off my back, Z, <laughs> about Duel of Ages. Oh. It's fine, okay? Oh. Yeah, it's not as amazing as it once was, but it's still enjoyable. I think there, there's problems with it. I'll admit it, but I can still like it, and I'm tired of being bullied about it because Z's a bully. Ooh. I wept for 15 minutes before we started this video oh in goodness. preparation. I have not played this game, Tom, so I can't tell you. I can tell you that the cover is a one. <laughs> I haven't played it either, but you haven't taken enough time to show it to me, so it must mm. be really good. I mean, who, who's wrong? Who, anyway. Who, who's the guy in the bottom right? What, what is he supposed to be? You mean this guy? Yeah. Um, he's a he's from, biker. He's from The Quick and the Furious, which is a ripoff <laughs> of The Fast like and the he's Furious. Like, he's like... Yeah. He's, he's doing the whole, like, what? make his muscles look Again. bigger by putting his hands I'm yeah, not yeah. trying to Underneath. sit there. That's quite a flex. He's like, oh. Check I'm not out trying to sit there and say <laughs> that this cover's great. Well, I think the game is a lot of fun, but okay. it has problems. I'm sure. just tired of being bullied about it. All yeah. right. Bullied. All right. All right, in my ongoing attempt to turn this into a Mike is Wrong video, my number six <laughs> is a crossover. So if I'm wrong on this one, then Roy is also wrong because I put for number six the game by acclaimed, I would say acclaimed designer, Vladimir Succi. I agree. Pulsar 2849, that he rates a shocking three. Three, that's crazy. That, again, to me, a three means the game is barely playable. This game is a really, really this rock game solid dice. Has been in my top one hundred for multiple years. Yeah, it yeah. Is this is solid goodness. And this is a game I almost call a hidden gem because not a lot of people know about this, but everyone that I've introduced it to has really liked it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't try to introduce it to Z. 
because he would have crushed my dreams. This is a really good game. Mm -hmm. It's a three is a shocking, a shocking number. I like to keep track shocking here. number. I want to keep track here. So okay, okay, so Z doesn't like fun. Right. He's a bully. He's a bully. And he crushes dreams. Crushes dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, he's in my desk. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. He's in the desk or sitting at Listen, the desk? I'm confused. How about if we do a fight to the death for the desk? Uh, this solves two problems. Give me a couple of weeks of training and we'll talk <laughs> about it. A couple weeks. We'll talk about to it. Fight, to I fight Z, you would need more, I would need more than a couple of weeks, but I need to learn some dirty tricks. All right. My number six is a crossover Pulsar 2849. My number six is one of my favorite games. It's in my top ten, and I have no clue why Z rates this game a four. I'm trying to think what you can It's one of 10. my favorite designers, Emerson Matsuji, and this is Spectre Ops, which Wait, is he rated rates a, a four? four. This, this is, is possibly also a bad play experience. <laughs> <laughs> this is an amazing game, and it's it's a super like easy, streamlined hidden movement game with cool special powers where you have different things you can flip. I understand he likes mm. other hidden movement games, and he That's really enjoys right. that genre. He likes Fury yeah. of Dracula. This is better than Fury of Dracula. Maybe he he thinks Fury of Dracula is so good that it throws all the other ones yeah. under the bus. But there's no reason this game is a four. It is a blast to play. You can play it with two players. You can play it with four mm. players. You can play it with all sorts of different player counts. It's a lot of fun, and it's just this cool puzzle of being able to figure out the stuff and be able to discover. I love being the um, the agent. I love being the hunters. I love all sides of this game. And it seems like the kind of game you should like. Yeah, that's really interesting. We recently, and I won't even necessarily name it, we played another pretty s more simplified hidden movement game yeah. that we all kind of enjoyed. I liked it more than, than, than everyone else, but everyone at least enjoyed it. Z came in. No, like, no, oh, that's, I like this one better. That's the Nidavalier treatment. That's the Nidavalier thing, right? The Nidavalier treatment, right? because we all played it, we were like, oh! This is cool, Z, Z. Try this out. And you Z like Fury of like, Dracula? Making fun no. of it the whole time. No. He had no he had Next no time interest. I'm just going to be like, I don't know what this game is. I've never heard of it. I've <laughs> never heard of this night. game before. No and one cry. knows what it is. Z, play it. I've been crying like a lot it. lately. That's and he'll right. be like, oh, it's it's quirky. It's great. <laughs> quirky. Yeah, you just got quirky there. So. Uh, well, <laughs> my number six is another crossover uh -oh. with Roy. Oh. This is one of the first ones I thought of, because he hates this game, in my opinion, irrationally, especially since he likes Sleeping Gods. Oh, for sure. And oh. this is Tales of Arabian Nights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, Tales of Arabian Nights, the stories are kind of random. I'm not going to yes. argue that, but that's the point of the game. Mm. The point of the game is to walk around and have random, hilarious things happen to you. So I apologize that they're hilarious. Mm. Right. I, I think you just don't like genies. I think he's something against genies. Uh, oh, in this game they're called Jin, which is uh, hard, hard to pronounce too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man, this game is fun. Is it streamlined? No. Is, is it strategic? It... No. No, you but just go fun. in there and you loosen your belt a bit and have a great time. I don't know why you would loosen your <laughs> loosen belt. Your belt. <laughs> Make sure you loosen your belt when, you, when you're playing this game. Cla <laughs> is very important. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to go. All right, my number five is my second crossover in a row with Roy. Mm. He rates it a three. Mm. Now, I don't think it's the best game in the world. I rated it a seven, but that's still a four-point differential, and that is Eclipse. Ah. Oh, really? Yes. A three? I like the point I never see YouTube playing Eclipse yet. It's, it's been on my shelf, clips. that new version. You, you want to know what's You could have played it at the retreat. I could have, but here's the thing. I, and I'm, I'm, again, here, add it to this being a Mike is Wrong video. I've played this on the app more than I have in per, on the actual physical board game because it's easier to there's get. There's an app for it? Yeah, there's been an app for years. For the iPad? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So I've played it as a board game a couple of times, but mm. I played it as an, as an app a fair number of times. Maybe that's why I think it's not as long as it probably is when you're playing it as a board game. But this is not a three. This is not even close to a three. I mean, it's like really, really highly rated in like the, the top 100 yes. board games of all time. Like it extremely is. highly rated. Right. And it's very well regarded. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the only reason I haven't played it more is because I've been playing other Forex games. But you know. Mm -hmm. So. Good game. Game. I now have a mark for a different wrong list here. Oh my. What? Oh. This is good research I'm getting down here. <laughs> oh, no. right. Go ahead, yeah. Roy. As I oh, said, maybe Z hates space. Maybe that's what it is. Speaking of space, this is not out in space. This is on a specific planet. Mm. This is probably another thing where Z's like, game's too long, pass. Mm -hmm. This is a, a extremely old game. It's older than me. Made by the designers of Cosmic Encounter, and this is Dune. He rates it a four. 
Ooh. I really enjoy Dune. Ooh. It's got deterministic combat. It's got combat that's been stolen and put in other games like Scythe yeah. and things like that. Like sure. really good mechanics in this game. I really enjoy it. You really need to play with that higher player count. It's probably just way too long for him to play. I I'm enjoy Dune a lot. No, it is not a four. It's... This game has been around forever and it's been reprinted and people love he, this game. He likes Cosmic Encounter, right? I know why he doesn't like it, but he's wrong. It's fun. I, for purposes of this list, yes, he is wrong, but I get it. I I I, I get why I people don't like this I game. I understand why people don't like it, but Z, it doesn't mean that they're right. You're allowed to hate this game, but you're still wrong up for purposes I remember of seeing your reviews of legality. this and seeing your reviews of Rex, and you were raving about it. And yeah, but I, 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 I don't... No, 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 no. I just can't... There's games I rave about that you are allowed to hate. Even Duel of Ages, if Z had said, if it was just Z saying the game was bad, I'd be okay. It's the fact that he mocks me for liking it. Right. That's what so I'm yeah, they're, they're, as the chat is saying, Z doesn't like space and Z doesn't like spice. Space and spice. Mm -hmm. Z is coming to see the Dune movie with us. Not anymore. He's gonna rate it a two. <laughs> <laughs> two out of ten. Must miss. All right, uh, where am I? We are at number five. Yes. All right, let's switch gears. Let's talk about game Z likes. Oh, okay. Which I. I don't get, no one on earth likes this game because it came back in print in a Legends box and no one bought it because it sucks. <laughs> and that's Blue Moon City by the do Dr. Rainer Kanitsu, who as we all know, does not make very good games. I don't know why anyone would like his stuff. I am allowed to change my opinion between numbers. Blue Moon City, you guys both like it, right? I've never played. I Mike, you like it. I like it a lot. He likes yes. it a lot. You agree with Mike Z? You're wrong! <laughs> that, that does make a lot of sense. If you're agreeing with Mike, it's yeah. terrible. Blue Come Moon to the City dark is so basic and pretending to be so not basic. It has adolescent artwork and parts of it. It has... It's... Oh, it's so boring. Now, they made a game called Blue Moon City, which is amazing. But Blue Moon itself... And I don't feel ashamed about this because they brought it back in print and it was out of print before I could say Z is wrong. And I could say it pretty fast. All right, that's a pretty good line. I'm going to give you that line. Mm. Even if I disagree with you. <laughs> All right, so before we started this, I told you, Roy, I thought we'd have a lot of crossovers. I guess we'll see. This is the third crossover really? in a row. Really? This with just Roy. means one I guess of you, that means my one list of you is right. cheated Everybody's up the crossover with me. I promise you, I did Chris, not. Chris, who gave you the list first? I definitely do. Um, okay, right. besides me. I know no one copied off me. I definitely didn't look at his list. Yeah, no, I definitely gave it to him for, so first. So Roy cheated off you. He did not. No, I just knew because I knew the games that Roy liked and would be on this list. That's so. a good way to find what Z's wrong on. Go to Roy's highest rated there games. There you go. Yeah, we, we might not have a lot of crossover. <laughs> yeah. My number four is Galaxy Trucker, which he rates a three. It's not my favorite game in the world, but again, I rated a seven. Oh. I enjoy it for what it is, which is chaotic fun. Z likes... Chaos, right? He likes a lot of chaotic games. He likes Mission Red Planet. He likes, you know, a, a lot of games that have chaos involved. What is it about this one that he doesn't like? Where, where is, it can't be the chaos, right? It can't be the dice rolling. He likes plenty of games with dice. It can't be tiles. He likes plenty of games with tiles. I don't get it. What is it? You know what this game is going in. It's crazy. I'm not arguing with you. You know, every game of this I play, people are laughing, having right. a good time. They're enjoying it. Um, there's only I've only met two people who had an irrational hatred of this game. Mm -hmm. One was Samuel Healy, <laughs> and the other is Zunior Garcia. Correct. And yeah. you don't want to be in that boat, Z. Come join us. Yeah. Come join us. Yes. I enjoy this game a lot. So yeah, the main thing was his. I can understand not loving the game, but a three? Darch. Come on. Come Darch. on. It's not a three. Ridiculous. All right. For me, my uh, number four here is another game. Is it that can space? Be Yes. <laughs> it's another game that could be considered quite long, and that might be one of the main reasons. But the mechanics of this game and the way this game works and the way everything flows, this is a game that... I'm going to keep talking about the game before actually saying it. Okay. But um, this is a game where I played the board game before I, I saw the Sam show. Um, this is Battlestar Galactica. I really enjoy Battlestar Galactica. I, I think thought it's a lot of he fun. liked it. I understand why he doesn't like it. He gives it like a... 
He gives it a five. He's he's I, faded on it. He liked it mm. more and faded out on it. Well, I think it's still worth worth playing. I think it's a lot of fun and really enjoyable. I mean, you get to do the whole hidden trader thing, but it's like very impactful and very meaningful, like the way things work out. And mm. I think it does and like evolves that sort of mechanism, but keeping players engaged on every single player's turn because you're always putting in cards for bidding and voting and things like that. Yes, the game's quite long, but you can do things to make sure it's sped up a little bit and it's a lot of fun to play. That is Battlestar Galactica. Who? I don't know. I'm a little bit with him here. You're wrong also. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably played together and made each other hate it. All I thought right. you liked this game, Tom. I liked it. It faded Tom for used me to over like times. a lot of games that are awesome, and for some reason they fade over time. But I grew up! He plays new games <laughs> all the time up. and forgets the good ones. I grew right. up. That's fantastic. Let's switch back to the good side of things, because what right. I like to do... You guys are, are saying things he doesn't like and trying to build Z up. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tear him down. Oh. Ah. Okay, I was told that these games were good despite how bad they looked. <laughs> and I've always disagreed because uh -huh. I will not play games that have horrific artwork. But Wait, well, you, you just showed Duel of Ages. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but COVID happened. Uh, okay. And I was stuck in the studio by myself. Oh, I know what you're putting on here. And y'all uh -oh. forced me to. No, you didn't force me. But I played a solo marathon. I know what And this everyone is. was like, play Oniram. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh. So I did. It's not. <laughs> what on earth? Also, it includes seven expansions. <laughs> Who cares? I like this game. But what about the shuffling, Tom? But the artwork for this game, I'm sorry. Look at that. Oh, oh stop it. I know, every time I say that, someone in the comments is like, you're so mean to the artist. I think Z's the artist. You're stuck in a nightmare. It's a, it's a nightmare thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, because the theme is so very strong <laughs> in this game. I was expecting a classic. Mm. I was expecting something that would make my hair rise and me feel like I was eating a piece of key lime pie. And uh, I did not. Did you, I may have gone too far into that analogy. Did you loosen your belt before you played it? When I eat key lime pie, <laughs> I have to. Definitely. So... Uh, it's okay. I don't dislike it, I guess. Mm. But I again, I was expecting the skies to open, mm. the moon to shine on me. By the way, did you see the moon this morning? It was yeah, amazing. It's a hunter's oh, moon. Yeah, that was the moon. best moon I think I've ever seen. Wow, that's a bold statement. Top ten moons. <laughs> Top ten moons. And Z probably doesn't like it. That's correct. He doesn't like lunar things in general. <laughs> it's space. It's part of. All right. Anyway, Oniram. I don't get it. Z's wrong. <laughs> All right, we're getting into the heavy hitters now. Now now it gets real. Now it gets real. And you wanted to tear Z down? Get ready. I'm tearing him down. He rates this game a 10. So 10! Like, so perfection. Perfection. The game can't no be any better. mistakes. And here's what I love about I hope this. I don't agree with him because this Here's what, Well, it's an okay game. I rate it a 5. Okay? It's an okay game. Because you rate things properly. I do. Okay. Mm. He also has the audacity, the unmitigated nerve, to try to call this a thematic game. Wow. My number three is Neuroshima Hex. This is not a 10. This is an abstract game, 100%. You're putting little tiles out on a board. You're punchy punching other tiles. They've got little numbers on them. They've got pictures on them. Oh, I've got this faction. It's so different than that faction. You're playing checkers. This is checkers. Checkers. So 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 just to clarify, you don't like it because he says it's thematic? No, well, he that's... says he says it's pretty abstract. He says it's abstract and thematic at the same time. I guess. And I it's agree. It's a straight abstract. It's also nowhere near a 10. It's not even in the ballpark My, of a 10. Your top 10 on this list. Uh-huh. Obviously done with very little research and forethought. Is making me like Z more. It's you are messing like up. No, just because you think you think, think this game is a ten? No, but I don't think it's. I I think I gave it a seven or an eight. I gave it a five. Yeah, I'm correct. So who's wrong? Z. What's the name of this video, Chris? You're right. I apologize, Mike. Thank you. Z I'm getting off topic. is wrong. This is not a ten. It's I also not thematic. You're one of those guys that argue so strongly for the point that I end up going the other way. I know. Well, that's, <laughs> I, that's, I was given a memo. That's what we're supposed to do, I thought. Maybe I'm just too good at my job. Uh-oh. And I just got a thumbs down. Uh, Z is wrong. Ah. Uh, 
Well, if you agree, Mike, thumb up the video right now. Yeah. See, prove you wrong. All right, go ahead. I'm, I'm afraid of what this is going to do to our uh, our like-dislike ratio. Right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, my number three is a game I really enjoy. I enjoy Marvel. I enjoy comics. I enjoy deck building. For some reason, Z doesn't like this game as much. He gave it a six. That's not too bad, but I think this game's amazing. This is Marvel Legendary. Mm. I enjoy Marvel Legendary. I think it's a blast. I think it's fun working together to take out the different bad guys. I don't understand why he, he rates this so lowly. I mean, it's not a not approved game. It's not a game that people shouldn't have in their collection. I don't understand mm. why it's so low. Did you play it with him? Is that the reason, Tom? <laughs> Tom, did you ruin this game for Z? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you like it so much, and that's the reason he dislikes it. I do it. like it a lot. Also, Mike got 10 I am getting <laughs> wrecked no, in I just comments. want you guys to but know. But you got 30 thumbs up My there, opinions so. are my own. Oh, no. Based Four on thumbs other down. People. Guys, no. that affects me. Yeah. Not Mike. Yeah. Don't do the thumbs down. Take it back. Down. You jerks. Any interaction is Z, good interaction. get your family out of the video. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? I don't know. Number three. three. Yes. Three. Okay, so, again, I'm, I'm doing broader points here. Oh, okay. So, my number three, I'm going to show the game right away. It's Quest for El Dorado. Mm. Quest for oh. Eldorado. No, no, Quest for Eldorado is a fine game. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's good. And you know what it is? Also, besides the fact of being another Canadian game on our list, uh -huh. it's a good deck builder. Sure. But if I, in any video, say deck builder, Z immediately is like garbage. <laughs> I'm tired of deck builders. There's too many deck builders. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about when there's 200 billion, and that's not exaggerated. Rolling rights, mm -hmm. 700 million escape room games. Uh -huh. Yeah. And there's a few deck builders. And most of the deck builders that have come out in the last few years have been quite good. Right. Uh, but if I say the word deck builders, he's like, ah! And I'm like, El Dorado, shut up! <laughs> I don't actually say that. That would be rude. <laughs> El Dorado, shut up! Because outside the context of this mm -hmm. room, yes. we're super polite. You should see us in person. We're like, I'm my sir. Yeah, very, very cultured. This is all made up here. Mm -hmm. But he's wrong! About deck building. Why do you hate deck building, Z? So did he? What? What did he rate this? So what? Are you saying he rated it too high? Oh no, this or? is a high rating. This is in oh. the top 100. Oh, okay. okay. And again, I have no problem with that. Quest for El Dorado is fine deck building game, even though it's not in the top 10. Probably not even in the top 20, in my opinion. Mm. I know you like it too. I like it. And that's it. fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying I don't get how you can like this game and then, but still, if I say deck building, you're like ah. He also likes Dune Imperium, which is also deck building. It is. So. Yeah. You're wrong about deck building. Deck building is amazing. Wow. We have ten thumbs down now, and it's all your fault. I, I'm not and the one who I'm not the one who got into the thumb game, Tom. That's we you. We got a bunch more thumbs up, so that's we good did, too. we did. But you, you, you're the ratio the is off. Well, here, let, get get your thumbs up ready. Get get that thumbs up button ready because Z could not be more wrong <laughs> about my number two, which he rates a three. Wow, a three. This is a modern class. My 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 two and my one are both modern classics that modern Z classic highly undervalues. It's a three. He rates this game. I assume I, he's right because no, I tried this. I tried this with you with you guys before, and you let me down. I'm gonna give you one more shot. <laughs> I'm going to give you one more shot. Well, thank you, Mr. Delicia. What would you say is probably considered the most classic early worker placement game? The one that got everybody fired up, really. I And it's not oh, Kalos. I, I already know where we're going with this. It's Kalos. No, no. That's, that's what I was going to say. It's not Kalos. Oh. What's the one that got the majority of people really into worker placement? I have an Marty? answer for this, but I know it, I understand what it's Agricola. I yes, because I went and looked at his review of Agricola is low. It's a three. But you why? Played it with you? I don't care why. He because rated it a three. Because he likes Caverna now. Why does that change Police. the rating of another game? Just because Caverna exists does not make Agricola a three. Give me a break. But Come I, on. I was pretty close to giving Agricola a 10. And then when Caverna came out, I dropped Agricola to a 6. Well, well that's wait. wrong, too. But you didn't wait. rate it a 3. Wait, well, so I, you're going to say you were going to give Agricola a 10, but then no, another no, game I, came out I and made it, it so a it was no longer approved? Yes, that's how that's how things work sometimes. Well, that I can see. I mean, then you're taking, you're not, I mean, but this is, he's rating this a 3. There's no way. And Look. 
This again it is isn't a, a three. I do agree on not that. Even, he is wrong. On not that. even in the in the same neighborhood as a three, right? This isn't my favorite game of all time. It's not my favorite worker placement game. It's yeah. not my favorite Uwe Rosenberg game. It's not anywhere near a three. I don't get this at all, Z. You hate hate German strategy games, clearly. <laughs> you, you hate, hate Rosenberg. classic German strategy games, and I cannot support that. <laughs> I just can't do it, Z. I've tried. I just can't go with you on this one. I, uh, I, I, I'm normally not down with the farming games, but I'm mm-hmm. just going to assume that Z is probably right, so... Oh, wait. That's no. what we're supposed to say here. No, no. This Again, is I, I, when I went three. through the list, I considered this one, and but I knew it was because of Caverna. I'm assuming it's because of Caverna. I knew this is highly regarded, so... All right, what do you got, Roy? All right, for me, I know one of your last two now because of the way this list has been headed. This might give me some flack from the chat and maybe even from you guys. If you say last night. <laughs> no, no, this is a oh. this is a game that Z rates a ten. Okay. I do not like this game at all. I I don't enjoy it. If you win this game, it's not because of any skill or any good thing you did. It's just because of luck. And this is Ghost Stories. I. Hate ghost stories. You hate I, ghost stories. I don't like ghost stories at all, and it's definitely not a ten. And I'm gonna be issuing a formal a very, apology very to Z after pu- this is over. I'm bringing it's some people. It's very, very just like a, a puzzle that you're not gonna win. It's just you're just gonna lose the game when you play. And if you do win, it's because the cards randomly came up in the right order for you to get lucky enough to win. I got two words for you. So you're gonna play it get over and good. over and over and over. <laughs> How many times have you won this game, Tom? A couple. Oh, actually, no, four. Because of luck. No. Skill, <laughs> skill, skill, and the, and the first time, determination. Oh, determination. Anyway, this game is not worth the hype. It's definitely not worth t- a 10. I never want to play Ghost Stories again because I'd lose anyway. Um, done. I Ghost thought Stories. you were good at games, Roy. I don't uh, like this game at all. This is not uh, fun to play. This game is an amazing theme. It is a little harder than it should be. What theme? Hard. You're moving around on squares. No, no, Roy. <laughs> and Roy magic colors. I cannot accept that this game is no theme. This game is amazing theme. I love how different this list is than the Tom is wrong. We all got. We all were on board with Tom being wrong. This one's getting. This is going way off the rails here. So how look much what you've like, done, Z. How much do you like Ghost you've Stories? You've caused like division. It's, you've it's caused not a ten. this. Good. It's I, not I a like ten. It is definitely not a ten. We were one big happy family until you came on board, even though you were first, and it doesn't make sense. <laughs> all right, my number two. I think you will both agree with this one. Ah. So let's show a couple of games here that Z likes it positively. I don't have a problem with him liking these games. Okay. And this is The Others and Claustrophobia. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. likes these a lot. Sure. But if I pull a game off the shelf and say, hey, would you all like to play this dungeon crawler or whatever? Mm-hmm. Who's the first one to almost run away? Every time, Z. Yeah. He right. won't even try them. They're not grotesque enough. It needs to be That's grotesque. what it is. Mm. You gotta be evil. It's oh. wrong to like the only difference is these games are evil. Oh. More demons. Evil. Z is wrong because he only likes games that are pure evil. Wow. How could you argue that. with this point? I did not catch that. Oh, so I that's mean, the whole thing. I thought you were gonna show another oh, thing. Oh, I thought there was, was an the actual game. okay. No, no, I, I told you all I have bigger, <laughs> larger, more Potent points to oh, make. Oh my goodness! I would right. be careful right. what you say because you know he might summon some of those things I, to get you. I know. <laughs> I mean, you know what else he has? He has hate. He does have hate. He has hate. But I'll say, hey, Descent, nah. I'll say, oh, you want to play Star Wars Imperial Assault? No. We have some new sword and sorcery. Don't want to try it. Don't Bulbous like the and grotesque. Crawlers. I'm in. Right. <laughs> what is that about? Bulbous and grotesque. That sounds like a good game. I need to get yes. in on that. Actually, Sarah points out. Zevil. Zevil. <laughs> Actually, like three people came. Zevil. All right, that's his new name. Zevil. Mm. Try to make something funny out of that on your talkback video. Zevil. He probably will. He will. I guess he isn't that bad because I'm looking at the time and we've only spent 49 minutes. We usually go well over an hour. Yeah, yeah, this is. Mm. But the rage, the, the rage, rage is so fast. Is. We yes. gotta speak faster. That is correct. There you go. My number one is a crossover, and and we oh. kind of know it because I've already you know intimated that this would be on my list. This is a modern classic, as you said, it was rated as high as number two on Board Game Geek, and hmm. Z rates it a three, a three. 
a three. Well, if he writes a three threes, that's a nine. So let's not get no. Off he the just writes a one three. Uh, Tigris and Euphrates. I, I, how on earth can you rate this game a three? You you can say, look, I don't. This game isn't particularly for me. But when you rate a game a three, again, that to me is saying the game is fundamentally right. flawed. There's something wrong with this game. There's something wrong with Reiner Knizia. There's something wrong with mathematics. That's what it is. <laughs> Z particularly dislikes mathematics. Anything that has to do with uh, arithmetic or quadratic equations or perhaps uh, polynomials. Z wants no part of it. Mm. And so all of that... Structure I've never met that someone framework. who is so good at not selling their point. <laughs> that framework of mathematical goodness that goes behind this game, Z wants no part of. Tigers Euphrates is a modern classic for a reason. It's not a three. It is nowhere close to a three. Z, I haven't played this game. So you. I don't know. I know, sorry. Oh, I've already started tuning my cat. I'm trying to think of your number one because I think there's two very viable options. So my number one is actually a game that Z doesn't have rated on Board Game Geek. But I know he hates it. How many letters are in the name? <laughs> Three. I knew it. I, I knew it. this game. I knew oh, it. This is I another <laughs> space game. And but also, game this, one's, this one may be my fault again. <laughs> this is uh, Zaya. I'm, I'm saying a lot of this was probably because he was taught poorly during a live stream. Agreed. I've, I've seen it. But this game is extremely enjoyable. And even now, I'll be teaching people at the retreat, and Z will walk by and look and be like, oh, they didn't fight the sun yet? That's true. If you even, it's like, like, wait, what? I Z can't <laughs> play the game that I really like and enjoy? It's like, oh, okay, fine. I know you don't like the game. I'm sorry. But mm. uh, I love Zaya. It's a blast to play. It's got cool things like pick up and deliver. Yes, it is a risk management game. Yes, you have to prepare for risks. You can't go flying through shields every two seconds or flying through asteroids and be like, it's random. Duh! It's random. <laughs> Do things to mitigate the randomness. The game gives you ways to mitigate. Yeah, be smart. So go back <laughs> and watch smart. the video. Be go. smart. Don't just fly into go all back. sorts of this crazy was, stuff. This was not during one of our uh, uh, 24-hour marathons. Mm -hmm. I believe it was either the second or the third one. Mm -hmm. So I was teaching Sam and Zevil. Um, this game, Zaya. Right. And yes, maybe the teaching wasn't good, although I'm going to claim sleepiness there. Mm -hmm. But I distinctly said, you don't necessarily just want to fly over. You can look first and see, he's like, I don't care. If I remember correctly, <laughs> but there was a lot of profanity that had to be bleeped oh. out. He's like, I don't blah, 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 blah. He is evil. Z would blow himself up, but then continue to do things that were just completely poor in the game. I mean, it's recorded, so you can go back and look. He's like, oh, I'm going to fly through the shields. Well, you shouldn't fly through the shields because you don't have any shields of your own to defeat. No, I'm going to fly through it. I'm going to fly through this asteroid. Oh, I blew up again. I hate this game. Maybe play the game with some sort of strategy. Um, Zaya's an amazing game. I love it. You should play it. All right. So, woo, Zeevil. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, so my number one is sort of a crossover with you guys. Mm. Oh. Because I think Z hates a particular individual in board gaming oh. industry. I'm okay. sorry. I'll leave now. No, well, kidding. there's also that. But besides that, I am confident that Z hates... Vlada Kavato. Oh, oh, see this really nice gentleman here? Not only does he hate him, he hates his company. Whoa! Because Pulsar 2849, did he like it? No. Nah. Nah. Does he like Galaxy Trekker? No. Nah. Nah. Does he like Bunny Bunny Moose Moose? No. Nah. Nah. Well, nobody does, so that's not worth it. Take that one <laughs> Every time I bring one of these games from, from CG, mm -hmm. and he's like, no. It's yeah. terrible. It's mm -hmm. terrible. He won't even look at Lost Ruins Varnak. Has he played it? I don't remember. I don't know. I, I said, oh, I think you'd like that game. That was a mistake. Yeah. And he's like, oh, that's from CGE, right? And he's like, mm. <laughs> CG is one of the, and Vlada Kabat is one of the greatest designers. He has. And that's, actually, I'm not even. It's a lot of good games. Yeah. I, I've done a lot of uh, somewhat small exaggerations there. Vlada Kabat really is one of the greatest designers. Very diverse so in design. And Z hates yeah. all his stuff. Yeah. I don't think Vlada Kabat has made a single game. In fact, we're planning a street fight between Vlada Kabat and Z, Volk Garcia. Mm -hmm. I just yep. can't get it to happen. Uh, how can you hate CG games? They're amazing. It's a lot of good stuff there. Hates code names. Hates them all. He does, right? What? How? What? He doesn't hate code names. He just doesn't like it that much. Yeah, yeah. I was just throwing that out there. Cause... A game doesn't have to be unknown to be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. All right. So in just a moment, we're going to, since we have some time, why not? We do, we're going to yes. let you all in the chat tell some things. So you can start saying things. Maybe we'll agree with you or disagree with you. Mm -hmm. Someone sent me an email that I forgot about. I oh. want to put this in here. Okay. They said... 
You should mention a general denunciation of these insanely specific requirements <laughs> for what constitutes an abstract strategy game. Oh. I don't know. You were there for that one. Yeah. Like, no asymmetrical powers, no randomness, must have perfect information, player pieces must be a primary color. <laughs> No vowels in the title of the game. <laughs> no. Wait, what? But you weren't there. I was like, this seems like that's not abstract. It's like, are you, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, his, his definition of abstract strategy is wrong! Well, yeah. I'm gonna put a tick Based off of Nurishima Hex, that's very ah, true. Let's see what the chat is. I was saying Dead of Winter a lot. That kind of went into oh. my Battlestar Galactica. That's mm. true. But I'm not as strong on Dead of Winter as I am. I like I still like Battlestar Galactica more than Dead of Winter. Mm. But uh yeah, he does rate Dead of Winter very he, low. He hates Someone Ray mentioned Dead of Winter. Treasure Island, that's true, but that fits back in where we were talking about he doesn't like imprecise things. Yep. Right. And I don't even think again, the rules of Treasure Island say if you're not sure, you're caught. Right. It doesn't right. even allow imprecise. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, he doesn't like Spirit Island, but neither do you. Uh, no, you know. no! I like Spirit Island. Oh. Go watch that review. <laughs> Z's dislike has tainted my oh, own opinion okay. of the game. Okay. People are like, why don't you like Spirit Island? I'm like, no! That was Z. Z, you ruined my reputation. Zville. <laughs> Zville. <laughs> All right, what else do we got? Uh, that's true. He loves trick taking. He does. And for some reason said the crew is okay. Mm. Okay? Okay? Crew's amazing. The crew is awesome. He's wrong about I'm yellow, sorry. the worst color. <laughs> I don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got? Z doesn't. Uh, let's let's see. not get caught up in the mic is wrong stuff. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's just go right past that. Um, I don't understand this notion that five is bad. It's the middle of the range. Well, yes and no. I that that's another whole philosophical discussion. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. Candy corn. Don't even get me started on candy corn. No, he's right on candy corn. It's okay. Oh, he. Yeah, I hate candy corn. It's garbage. And Z hates circus peanuts, but I'm the only person in the studio who likes yeah, it. I, think. I like circus peanuts. Do you? Not mm, by a bag. Garbage. Well, garbage. Ah, that's garbage. not good for health. Oh, I know. That's why I don't ever get any. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got here? <laughs> All right. Well, actually, we're gonna we'll we'll wrap it up here because now people are starting to repeat themselves. Yes. But listen. Now take off my hat. Z is an intriguing part of our studio. Yes. We're really glad to have him here. He's funny all the time. You, yes. you think he's funny on videos, he's funny off videos. And um, yeah, it's a good time. He does have the best desk position. He has the best <laughs> desk position and the reason- Listen, I fought, I fought for him to have that position because when we were looking at this studio, I was like, we should put Z over there. That'd be really awesome. He'd like that spot. Yep. Yeah, you like he, your spot. You like to be in the middle of everything. I, I do like to be in the middle of everything. Yeah, this the, 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 I think I'm going to try to, to mitigate my own poor showing in this video. The reason why this was so hard for me is that I honestly agree with Z 98% right. of the time. Like, he and I have very similar tastes and sensibilities, so I really struggled with this list. I only had one thing that was like, he likes the game and I thought it was a bad game, because I feel like he's a lot more critical on stuff, but the games he likes are normally actually really good, so I'm like... It made it harder for me to like choose yes. games to diss on. And no joking, I want to surround myself with people who we disagree with stuff on anyway. Of course. Otherwise, this is super boring. That is true. Uh, and Mike would not be here <laughs> if he agreed with me on even a few things. A few things. Mm. <laughs> no, we, we, we agree on the important stuff. We have a good time. We're thankful for Z. But, again, he's wrong. He's wrong. Very wrong. Go back and look. We just gave Very you, wrong. I was about to say 30 reasons. About 26 reasons I'm, de I'm deleting four mics. No, no, um, there were crossovers, too. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. We're down to 20 reasons. Mm. I'm just worried uh, about what he's going to summon to come after us now. All right, so Z said he wasn't going to watch his live. He's going to watch it later and record a reaction video. So oh come boy. back at some point when that's done, and we'll see what happens there. And then I'll record another video. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delisio. And I'm Roy Kennedy. Z. Vol. Is wrong.